little bit, but... What are your views on previous Make a Difference days? I think previous Make a Difference days have been quite organised, but what I think rather than have it just one day a year, what we need is to create more out of like extracurricular clubs for, like, across the years so that more students interact with each other and so we get a stronger community. How would you improve them? I'd improve them by, I think, asking the students what they'd like to do rather than giving them a set list and making them choose, having them submit the list of what they would like to see you around the school. Okay, good luck. Thank you. My last name's Pitan, P O T A N. Kanan, yeah? Yeah, Kanan. Kanan, sorry. Kanan, thank you, my little friend. Now it's time for me to make my vote. Over here. Well. Who am I going to vote for? Well, okay. Two. It is Make a Difference Day today and she is organizing groups with the protests and rights of people around the world and education. Here's Miss Harland. Hi. Hi, so Miss Harland, what have you been doing in class right now? Okay, so we have designed a session for pupils to be put in a different experience, an experience that they might not have ever experienced before and we're focusing on um, a young girl called Malala who was um, actually shot in the head in her own country for sticking up for what you believed in, a right to education. So we're kind of looking at different workshops based on her story. Hi, my name's Karen McCallum and today I'm interviewing the head of Year 7, Miss Wilson. Hello there. Yeah, Miss, uh, do, you like, do you like the idea of today? I do like the idea of today. I think it brings different year groups together, working to problem solve and work as a team. And I think it's a fun and creative day. And do you think the students are enjoying it today? I think so. The, you will find a few that will moan because they're not with their friends and things like that. But I think overall it's a, it's a fun day. It saves them going to their normal, typical lessons and they get to enjoy the sun. And uh, do you know the uh, new head boy and head girl, who do you think is the best candidate? Oh, that's a tough one. Because I think all of them have got individually great characteristics that they could bring to being a head boy or head girl. So I think it would be unfair to pick just one out of the six that are there. So are you going to be voting? I have. I've voted. I'm not going to tell because it's secret. It's a secret poll. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm Mara and this is Crop News. Today we'll be going to the ICT department and we're interviewing Miss Hagen and. What's her name? Louise. Okay. Um, what is the subject around us? Uh, it's all about new technologies and we're using the internet to try and tackle unemployment. And how do you think this is going to help society? Well, it's going to help you understand how you can use the internet to help you to get a job and earn money. And how do you think the students in class are doing this? And they're doing really well. At the moment, we're just onto the planning process. They're planning a product which they could market on the internet. And how do you think Miss is taking this lesson? Do you think it's good? Yeah, I think it's good. So, what is the lesson about today? We're looking at new technologies and we're looking at using water in countries that are developing. For example, uh, we're looking at Zimbabwe and all the difficulties we have getting water there just to survive, how to have to walk to get water, and the difficulties to get to keep the family having enough water, and getting people and the students to actually appreciate how lucky we are in this country that we just turn on the tap and we've got enough water for all our possible needs, drinking water, everything. So how do you think the students like this lesson? Do you think they're okay with it or they might not like it? I think students are get to appreciate after this activity how much water we have that we just don't seem to we don't seem to recognise that we are so lucky in this country that we just turn on a tap for our water needs. Whereas other countries, pupils can't go to school, they can't go and um, have free time out and play football. They spend most of their days actually just getting water for the family. And if they don't do it, the family will die. That is really sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Well I think that's what it is. We're going to be painting both sides of this wall. To begin with, we're going to start with some geometric patterns and symbols from different cultures around the world. And at the end of the day, if we've got time, we're going to do the other side. Yeah, we've got like a particular music.
Right, the idea is to represent all different cultures from around the world, so not just uh, what British culture is like, all different ones, so people are aware. So are you getting your top students in art? I got, so some students that I knew would be very keen, like students in my form, good art students. Yeah. Alright, yeah. thanks. So here's an idea of what they're doing from different cultures around the world, as you heard him yes. say. We've been here before, but this is the wall near its completion. Oh, I think it looks awesome. It like shows all the cultures that are specifically in this nation. Yeah. It's really cool. Like many Muslims, Sikhs, or yeah. a anywhere anywhere around the world. Yeah. It does represent. Uh, and like the wall used to be just plain blue before, and everyone doesn't. No one likes a plain, boring blue. So now they've hyped up a bit. Hi, I'm Amar, and this is Croc News. Today we're looking at the environment, and this is Mr. Croton. So, sir, what are you doing right now? Uh, cutting plants. Isn't that damaging the environment? Not really, no, because they will grow better. They? They, they do! Oh my god, wow! So, is this like, you just cut it and you put it in the bags and stuff like That's that? That's right, yes. But unfortunately, because we haven't got a recycling plant, or a recycling area in school, for bottles, glass, uh, paper, we've got some paper but not cardboard and a lot of cardboard gets thrown away and what we need to do is be more environmentally friendly and there must be areas of the school where we can actually store things like green waste and reuse. Okay, um, that is very interesting. We might come to speak. The scenario is that Mrs Wilkie has decided to put the lunch break down to 20 minutes and extend your lessons to 1 hour 15. This is a real by the way and our students now are going to protest So it's helping people like, speak up. Yeah. yeah finding up. a voice. Yeah. Standing up for yourself, finding a voice. Yeah, this is a very good idea. Okay, thank you. Thank you for yourself. Can we have a little drum roll please? Our head boy for the new academic year 2013 to 2014 is quite tense. <laughs> James Holter! <laughs> and our head girl! James, can you give a stand up front to me? Thank you very much. Our head girl! Two girls stood there waiting. We have three nominations though. Third one sadly can't be with us. But never mind. Our head girl for next year is... Lauren Cole! <laughs> Cocksha Hill, have a look at your new head boy and your new head girl, Jane and I hope you enjoyed our Make a Difference Day special report. This report was made and filmed and edited by the Crop News Report team. And we'll be back next September with more reports. Hope you enjoy your summer. Bye. Bye.